In this video, we're going to go a quick rundown of the Season 1 Reloaded patch notes that have just released. So we're going to get through this pretty quickly. We've got mainly the weapon adjustments is what we want to take a look at. And obviously the new additions to the guns and things like that in general. Now we've got customization changes uh, when it comes to some of the operator skins. So this is going to be some general kind of fixes to certain weapons and just overall kind of bug type things from the looks of it. So obviously that will be um, what that changes are. So there's nothing really too important there. Then we've got some map changes. We've got Night Vision Gulag. So it's a new variation of the Gulag for the standard Battle Royale. An overall map polish. An effort to provide players a smoother, more reversive experience. Our teams have put extensive um, effort towards identifying and addressing various concerns with map geometry. This is going to be basically when it comes to like hopefully um, just general the way the map looks. Uh, mounting spots from what it looks like here. Uh, areas affected by uh, clipping. Uh, we've also got mantle spots and improved lighting as well. So hopefully that is uh, really, really good. Uh, we've got changes to certain modes, uh, which is not really stated too much in depth here. We've got obviously a new playlist update. And then we've got the weapon adjustments. Now, the MTZ did get an earlier nerf, which is still a super powerful gun. And the Swarm never really got adjusted at all with this update. So these are the two main guns that are getting used right now. So I don't know why they haven't changed these. It seems like the guns that need getting nerfed, they didn't really nerf. Um, so that is a bit strange now when it comes to the whole guard it got a, uh, a damage increase So this is going to be a max damage increase and that is the um, assault rifle variation Most of the assault rifles do need a buff in this to be honest because everyone's using LMGs or marksman rifles right now M13B got a max damage uh, reduction uh, And a mid damage reduction so M13B got nerfed no one's really using this gun too much anyway um, the MCW got a damage increase. This probably be a really popular gun now because it is a super low recoil option. Um, so in general, this will be um, a really, really powerful gun. Uh, I do think the M MCW will be one of the more meta, meta weapons now. Uh, Battle Rifles, MTZ762 uh, got a damage reduction. I don't really know anyone using this. Is this the Interceptor? This is not the Interceptor, right? Um, so overall, this is going to be just something no one's really using anyway. LMGs do kind of overall need a bit of a nerf, which I think this is what happened here. So max damage of the Bruin got nerfed, min damage got nerfed, uh, the DG LSW also got nerfed, uh, the Pumio also got nerfed as well. But I think these numbers aren't massive for this gun. It's still going to be uh, really, really powerful. Tack Eradicator also got nerfed. All the LMGs are pretty powerful in this anyway, so I kind of expect this one. SMGs, the AMR9 got a buff and this is going to be super powerful now. Super low recoil gun was already kind of good, uh, but now I do think it's going to be really good. ISO 9mm got a damage reduction and this is because it was one of the fastest TTK guns in the game. Um, but now obviously it's not going to be as viable. And when the Swarm gets nerfed, obviously that's not going to be as viable either. Uh, then we've got the Rival 9, so slight reduction to horizontal recoil, which is really good. And then the aim stability benefit with one of the attachments has got buffed. So we'll see how that actually takes place because Rival is actually a kind of solid choice when it comes to low recoil. Striker is really good. Um, the, the near mid damage being increased. That's a buff. And then minimum damage uh, increased as well. So the Striker is going to be broken, man. Like, this, it's already a really good gun. Oh, this is Striker 9. Never mind. This is the Striker 9. False alarm. Okay, cool. So this is going to be... I don't know, no one's really using it anyway, so I mean, I suppose we'll see how that kind of plays out. The CAT AMR, which is the only one-shot headshot sniper still in the game for some weird reason. Um, we've got damage range benefits reduced on that specific barrel and bullet velocity benefits reduced as well. Then we do have uh, attachment adjustments with the uh, 50 cal spire point rounds, uh, the dragon's breath, and also the 12 gauge dragon's breath. All got nerfed from the looks of it besides this year damage range benefit increased lasers got slight changes as well so OLE laser reduced the ads speed benefit by two percent it's a bit annoying though like because the lasers are pretty good at improving the weapons in general so i don't know why they change certain attachments when they actually are pretty good and they help quite a lot and uh, nightfall suppressor got a slight change here this is not probably one of the more popular ones so it should be okay um but it did get nerfed regardless and uh, they've got some gameplay changes so this is the champion's quest and um, nothing too much on that this is a new kind of mode which is getting added in redeployable buy stations loot underneath 
redeploy by station will be removed to prevent overlap and difficulties interacting with the device cool black sites we have updated spawn behavior on black sites are no more focused towards the center of the circle that's great zip lines improved ability to interact thank god man that, the amount of times i try to grab a zip line and it doesn't actually work uh, so hopefully that is good uh, tracker grenade fix the issue of tracker grenade incorrectly showing up um underwater rebreather fixing issue underwater rebreather would make it more difficult what now you have is four recharges available from the start okay great uh, vehicle respawns um vehicles will now respawn after being destroyed great um exfil and weapon case update um they've not actually added this in yet uh, because people don't actually want this covert exfil in the main game mode so they're going to make a whole separate one for that which is ideal um so eod will now clamp damage to 120 so they've changed some perks here as well um so this is actually not too bad and then quick fix fixing issue preventing health regeneration to occur after inserting an armor plate so it actually didn't work basically um for a while so people never even noticed this one um bomb drone uh again they've increased the warning range on that and then ui changes hopefully the audio has been fixed but they always say that uh but that doesn't really do too much here so we've got some bug fixes which you can actually read through i'll leave a link to the patch notes down below and that is pretty much this if you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe thank you very much for watching